Why, hello everybody. Welcome to a little KCD. There's something a little different I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to actually do the beef jump and kind of give you ins and outs. You know, first I'll just show you off how to do it and then I'll kind of go into some, you know, different places and kind of tips and tricks I found out. The uh, beef jumping is still kind of a... Uh, I sort of know what's going on, but I don't have a 100% grasp on it. So if anybody else has more information, you know, Tell me what you find and you know we'll kind of get this together so anyways i'm starting here at Rattay because it's one of the bigger cities and usually you have more opportunity opportunities to actually beef jump so the first place to test it out for yourself if you're actually new at beef jumping probably one of the easiest places to go to is right here and you get right underneath this little uh board right here so the secret is is that you want to be able to crouch so whatever the button that is crouch and if you can't stand up anymore you're pretty good so in this case, you shouldn't need beef, but um, I'm gonna just uh, add a little beef on there. So the thing is that you wanna have a little extra beef. And so I have four beef here. I would definitely suggest just putting beef inside your horse. Carry yourself like a nice, you know, 100 pack. So what you wanna do is just wanna drop the beef, be crouched, drop the beef on top of you. Cause the beef is gonna land on top of you and it's gonna act like a little staircase. Then you wanna go over to your food. You want to use a save your snops, or you can exit and come back in, but I'd like to just drop a save here. Oh good, saved. So now all I go do is uh, load up that save. And as you notice, we are now above, and you can see the beef is right here. You can always recoup the beef if you want, and we're inside a nice little rat tay thing. Uh, what's really cool about this too is that you can kind of jump up here and be on top of the roof, or inside the walls or something like that. You can kind of uh, mess around and do stuff, different things you want here. But uh, that's kind of like what your beef jumping is expecting. You can get inside walls, you can go on top of the roof, get into places that you're not supposed to be at. And best yet, you can... Wow, the map is really freaking out. You can also just shoot through the walls if you want, because they'll, they'll find you maybe, but it should be perfectly fine. So, yeah, you want to go talk to me? But he has no idea... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. I'm freaking out because I can't see him. But anyways, uh, you didn't come here to see this. So let's go see something a little bit different. Now, beef jumping is very useful overall. It's pretty easy. Stay crouch and then you drop things on top of your head. Beef works out fantastic. And typically the thing you want to do is if you're beef jumping into any weird place is that you probably want to get yourself into a little corner if possible. You can't you don't want to stand in the middle room and drop beef on top of you because the beef will kind of go all over the place. You kind of want to give it into location. So you can see that little bed right there. Those little bed locations are excellent times to actually do beef jumping and get into the roof or get into a different room or something like that. Not saying it's impossible to beef jump while standing in the middle room and dropping things on top of your head. It is possible, but it's a little bit finicky. Yeah, so here's kind of a close to look what I was at before. You notice like this is the bed of beef you just kind of just get into the corner and then you just want to drop beef on top of you those those are usually the best things like any corner like this you can kind of get into the same location uh, the best use for beef jumping is essentially going up in between two different floors so one thing to consider when doing beef jumping you might be thinking oh i could beef jump along this roof uh, no you really can't so anything you see with a slanted roof you probably want to avoid because if you go through that roof itself, and when the game loads up again, it'll just slowly slide you off the roof, and you'll just end up down here. So don't try to beef jump straight up here if it doesn't have a flat section, because that will end up as a bad time. So that is something to think about if you want to do something crazy like that. But I came out here for a reason. So notice is that this actually has like a flat roof, and you think that'd be an excellent spot to beef jump. Well, the issue you're gonna have is that this roof doesn't really hold people for some reason. So, you know, you can kind of take your bow and you could shoot at it and it doesn't hold. So I don't know why it's that. So when you, when you do your beef jumping, if it doesn't work like immediately, you could tell that I've been trying this a couple of times. Uh, the one thing is that if your arrow can't interact with it, you're not going to be able to stand on top of it. So, if you're ever having trouble beef jumping, just uh, give it a few shots. And if it doesn't interact with it, you can't beef jump on it. Like here, you could beef jump from this bottom floor all the way up because you can kind of 
just interact with it. So that's what you kind of want to look for. So I'm out here by Rate's church out right here. I'm in a special location that uh, I had to beef jump to get up to. Like there's a little box here. I can open it and apparently it just has, oh, you know, a free recipe or something like that. I have no idea why it has that in there. Like it's just this uh, box. There's that door you can't enter through the church and you can just open this. Free stuff, charcoal, a green merchant hat. I do not know the uh, story behind that. But anyways, uh, so you notice is that these little locations with the bell tower is at and everything, you can't interact with it. So this is not a candidate for beef jumping. Now, what is a candidate for beef jumping is that you can kind of get yourself into this little wall and then you can kind of beef jump up here and maybe get lucky. But there's an issue with this because there's nothing directly above you that can hold you. So if you try to do that over there, like let's say if I try to get into this corner and beef jump, uh, something funky can happen because what will happen, it'll send you straight up, but it'll send you back down in that. So let me show you what happens. Let me beef jump right here. Yeah, I'm just showing the loading screen because um, basically you don't get a chance to respond. And I beef jump straight out of there and land straight on the floor. So same spot, just basically tipped me over the edge and then threw me into a floor that's invisible there. So if I take a shot at it, I probably can't, the arrow's just going to go straight through it. Yeah, see how the arrow just goes straight through there? So what happened is that my you know, beef jump went over. But now I went straight through the floor because I can't interact with it and it broke my legs. So that's the one thing to consider. Uh, that is not a good idea when trying to do beef jumping. So make sure you give it a shot in the arrow. If the arrow sticks or bounces off, you're good to beef jump on it. Yeah, so I'm out here in Scallets. And this is definitely like trying to get back into Sir Radzik Castle. The burnt down portion of it. And you notice is that the beef just kind of fell over and I probably used about 30 beef or so because up here these walls probably take a little bit more and you kind of have to estimate exactly how much beef you need to drop on top of you because if I drop 10 I might just be too short to kind of get myself over the wall. Another thing you notice too is that you know the beef kind of is sliding down a hill like what you want to have is that you want to try to find the location with the most stable ground kind of like flat ground because when you drop beef you want the beef to stay in place because when it loads up the game at least what i'm figuring out you want it to kind of stay and stack on top of each other and not just slide down because it's going to start doing the physics right immediately and come on down the other thing you need to consider while doing beef jumping is that you might have to do a lot of reloading to get something to work out like don't do not trust the first reload that you have like for this example, like this failed probably two or three times because I have gotten inside here, but this time when I loaded up, it failed again. But other times it pushed me over the edge. So I'm not entirely sure, depending on how the physics calculate, and this is not, this is just a, uh, I'm theorizing here, but it's just, it either tips to the right or left or whatever else, and it gets just right. And then you can actually get inside there. So let me do another load and show you inside there oh god i'm sliding down a hill and as you see we're inside sir Radic's castle the burnt out portion of it very nice and basically i had the exact same spot beef jumped over there and just came you could probably still see the beef over there yeah you can see the beef right there and so yeah it just works sometimes like the beef just came onto the top of the fence and when you load up you're going to be on top of the beef generally or either the beef is going to push you away and you end up to the right or left of it. So that is possible. So, but the issue I had there is that I only had like one wall. So I had three sides that the beef could have gone right, left, or back. So whenever you have the physics calculations, you got to worry about that. But yeah, you can get inside a lot of different locations you generally cannot get inside to. Like, I mean, this castle is just an empty castle. So there's nothing too special about it. It's just burnt out goodness so eh. the more walls or locations the beef can kind of go back and forth you gotta be careful with because uh yeah it might have to reload the game maybe the physics will go one way or another so that brings me into another point about doing this when you do beef jumping at least on pc is that you're gonna have to take a few things into consideration go into your settings go into your advanced graphical settings 
And what you want to do is that you want to set your physics to low. So it sets the precision and distance at which physics calculate. So basically I set it as low as I can because I think, at least from my feel like, ultra high kind of, you know, messes with things a little bit more overall, at least when I was doing experiments. I feel like low is probably the best settings. Now, somebody else can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm running a, you know, pretty you know, older graphics card. So, I mean, it's a few versions old, so it's a little bit different. But uh, the physics I found runs, when you're running really low, you do great. I know, I'm pretty sure, at least with like consoles, you can't change the physics or something like that. So I'm sorry about that. You might have slight problems with beef jumping. I hope you could probably still do it, but that's something to worry about too. Uh, the other thing I'd probably suggest too is that what you want to do is you want to kind of lag your computer out just slightly and it kind of gives you a little bit more w wiggle room to actually do beef jumping with. Oh god, okay, yeah, so definitely that probably dropped my frame rate a little bit. Um, no, I actually didn't, probably because I'm in a very low area already. It's like my frame rate probably dropped like five or six, but you kind of want to... Try to stress out your computer slightly. Maybe you can run a few more, you know, Chrome tabs or something like that, trying to give it a little more lag. And the main reason is, is that sometimes when you, especially when you're trying to get over really big locations, you want to, when you, you get the load that starts up a new load, you might have an opportunity to jump off the beef and kind of go right left and kind of give a better determination. Because right when the game loads, I think you got like a one or two seconds of like, darkness or something like that that you don't see but your character's still moving the beef is still moving keep that in mind is that that beef stack is not ultra stable and it's going to move typically now what i would definitely suggest whenever doing beef jumping is that make small stacks as possible don't try to overdo it uh mostly i think the tallest the stack it can really go is like 60 maybe 75 before it starts uh double stacking so Sometimes you can't just, you know, go on top of itself because it gets problematic. Not unless you really stress out the game and then your frame rate goes down to 10 or something like that. Then you might be able to do double stacking a lot easier because then the physics are going wild. So, but yeah, that is fantastic. And uh, so that's kind of like how you kind of do the basics of beef jumping. So you kind of want to do all those little factors. There's really not much to it. You just need to find a location that's above your head, crouch, put beef on top of your head, and, you know, save the game. And then, you know, hopefully you get over to the next location. So, anyways, I hope that is a little bit informative. And I definitely would like to hear back from y'all, especially about, like, different techniques of how you employ this. So, beef jumping is quite useful in getting into some areas you shouldn't be. And at the same time... It helps you from going up and also going underneath the map as well sometimes. But anyways, I hope this is quite informative and I hope to see you around next time because, yeah, it's been quite fun. But until then, I'll see you guys around. Hopefully I'll find some more things to do with beef jumping. Have a good one and goodbye. No, oh, Sir Radzik, your castle is trash, son. Crash.